I'm Sue McFarland, I think my Will Coleman's pretty awesome because I wrote one of the first books way back when, I won't tell you the year, but I want to show you the proper way to do Will Coleman to make it easy and fast for you so you don't get 50% waste. If you watch real close, you'll see. First of all, you can set the wool comb down on your table or on your knee, but if you're worried about being careful at the beginning, there's a lock, it has a tip, and it has a cut side. This is some awesome tunas from Kentucky. You load it like this if you get a chance to see it. This hand is the non-moving hand over the handle. Hand handle. This one right here, you just slide her down like this, just barely catching the tips of the tines. Barely catching the tips, cut side, onto the tines. Just load this up. Hey, as a beginner, don't put too much on. It's a little tough otherwise. So load this little baby up. Ta-da! Hardly any on the back side. Nope. Nope, my awesome ring too. Isn't that pretty cool? I made that this weekend. All right, combing. Hold it in your left hand, if you're right-handed, and your right hand if you're left-handed. So start like this. Make sure your thumb is up against the comb handle. Turn it towards you and go perpendicular. You go from your stomach away, from your stomach away, and you cut through these locks till they all, the majority of them, move to the moving comb. So you have just hardly any left on here. If you have some left on here and you don't like that, you can turn the tines down, cut across again, turn them up, cut across again, get as much as you can. The next move is quite simple. Don't change your combs. Keep everything right where it is and move it. Ceiling to floor. Or in this way, sky to the ground. Sky to the ground. Hope you can hear those wonderful birds as I sit here on the deck of uh, Shaker Village here in uh, Shaker Town, Kentucky, outside Harrodsburg. Oh, by the way, that Ann McGintry, she's one of the spinners that's located up in the Harrodsburg Fort uh, Harrod Cemetery at Fort Harrods. We want to go next time we get around here. We gotta go go spinning with her. Bring our wheels and go spinning. Oh, back to combing. Combing now, depending upon your fiber, it could take 10 blows through. A blow is one time down. That's the first half of the blow. That's how fast you can end up going. And the other one is blowing stomach away like this. That's the second half if you blow for wool combing. And this is the movement that you can do with your hand. Practice that. When I first learned to do wool combing, I just sat like this and learned to flip that around with my wrist the right direction like that and that really helps you out. Now, I like the way this tunis looks. It's nice and fluffy. All the debris is out. I can do this with this one too when I'm trying to get it off my right comb. Just practice that. Practice flipping it around. If you can't get very much of it off, move it to the center of the comb, separate it a little bit, and then comb down. Flip, comb down, flip, comb down. Now this has all hay in it and second cuts, so this is the waste that I get. But look at this waste. What en that ends up being is pills in your garment, so you really don't want to keep that. That's why we will comb. Now we're ready to pull off the roving. If you just pick up your comb and try to pull this, it won't come off and you'll have half of it be waste. You, I take my thumb and raise it up from the back like this. The key to wool combing is raise it from the base, raise it from the base. There we go. And then you grab it like a Santa's beard, grab it to the tip, and you pull it off half the length of the fiber. Or where you see it start to thin, you let go of it and grab the next batch of fiber. And you keep doing this till you empty out the center of the comb. You'll know you've entered, emptied out the center of the comb because all of a sudden it will grab and you can't pull any more off. When that happens, you pull toward your tummy and then pull it some more off. And if it jams then, you move to the middle again. And if it jams again, you pull away. Till pretty soon, 
you have the majority of what you really want to spin off the comb. And then again, your waste, you really don't want this waste because it's all full of seconds, cuts, and debris. And this is the prime saliva that you want. You wrap up a bird's nest, you put it behind your hand, cover it up with your thumb, and then you wrap it on a diagonal across your hand and don't crush it. Make it nice and fluffy. Then put it between your index finger, your middle finger, scratch the back of your hand, and gently pull till you have a bobble hanging on your finger. Voila! This is what you have, an egg in a bird's nest. You could just pull it off too, and that, when your fiber's real clean, if you just want to pull it off and do some tail spinning or some wild spinning with it, you can have this debris that's all twisted up back here, so that's fun. Otherwise, you can mix yourself some more really nice roll logs, which is sliver. You can comb alpaca, and you might even have a little bear here eating, um, yeah, he's eating a mango. Yum, yum. Then you can do Cordell, you can do tease water. Oh, by the way, this is my wash tease water. It's going to be hard to comb this because I just like to stare at how beautiful it is. So, there you be. So we'll comb your little life away. Have fun. Susan.